Good day, my fellow Star Wars fans, and welcome. My name is Benjamin, and today we are going to be building a gonk droid. Now, this is a project I've been wanting to do for a long time. Ever since I saw The Rise of Skywalker, which had at least which had at least eight gonk droids in it, I've really wanted to build one of my own. So, let's get started. The materials you'll need for this build are craft foam, super glue, hot glue, a small baking pan, dryer vent tubes, two plastic storage bins, two empty peanut butter jars, and a Dremel, which is optional. You don't need it to complete the build, but it sure makes things a lot easier when it comes to cutting. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach some foam details on the outside using my hot glue gun. For reference, I'm using the Gonk Droid design by Marcus Fritz on ArtStation.com. This is the same design that they used in the game Battlefront 2, so it's pretty darn accurate. I'm also using some examples of other people who have built their own Gonk Droid costumes to kind of inspire me and give me some ideas. Okay, now that those pieces are done and dry, we're going to glue on this piece right here. And this is actually part of a uh, shower head that I had just laying around, so I just cut it up. And I thought it would be really good as a hollow projector right there on the droid. So. Yeah, I, uh, I think that looks really good. I think it's really coming together. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to take our Dremel and our baking pan and we're going to cut out a small hole so that we can insert this in. Okay, so now that we've got our hole drilled in, uh, which as you can see perfectly fits our baking pan, we are going to glue it in. Okay, now that we've secured the baking pan to the uh, upper tub, we are going to um, take it apart and uh, attach our legs. So I'm going to bring in my lovely assistant slash brother. Right, hold it. Okay, so I built this little rink here out of spare wood, and I'm just going to stick this inside here to hold up uh, and support the robot. Um, if you're using this as a costume rather than just a prop, you won't need this part. And as you can see right here, I've cut two holes in the bottom with my Dremel uh, to use as leg holes. So now we're just going to stick this in. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to grab my screws. All right, pick it up. First screw's going in. Okay, so as you can see here, I have drilled my support structure in, and he stands up on his own perfectly, and I'm... This is awesome. Okay, so our next and final step of this process is to take our dryer vent tubes, and I've cut these out to just the length of the legs, and we're just going to put them on. Boom! So that concludes part one of our Gonk Droid build. All I have left to do is create the feet and paint the whole body and just do some finishing details. That will be in another video which will be posted later on 
in the week. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. I know that's cliche to say, but if you really, really like the video and want to see more of my content, please consider more of my content. Please, more of my content. Please consider subscribing. My name is Benjamin. May the force be with you.